Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for December 11th to the 17th. This is for Libra and Libra Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cult across spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading Libra. I do this because you know I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one on one rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it offers a lot more depth to your reading. So Libra, here we are, the week of the huge new moon in Sagittarius, which is conjuncting Mars. As I explained in uh, your December forecast, this is a big new moon, okay? It's conjuncting Mars. Mars is a planet of action, drive, ambition, I, like, your passions, your passions, you're, you're going to feel it. Uh, now, before we even talk about that, we're kicking off the week with Mercury uh, sextiling Venus. I mean, what a beautiful way to start the week. It's such a great aspect, and you may feel a lot of it at home, okay? Because remember, Mercury is in Capricorn in your fourth house, and then uh, Venus is in Scorpio, and, and that's, you know, really, really, you know, it's intense, but it's also just very nice with this sex house. So there could be, like, a lot of comfort around home around this time with significant others, with family, with children. I mean, Mercury sex line Venus is, is really... Uh, well, A, you may feel a lot more social than normal. Libras are very social. Uh, but it's uh, it's like a nice, warm hug. It's like a nice, warm hug. It could, you know, Mercury and Venus are the fastest moving planets. So uh, you could feel it for, it could be more like, uh, like a fleeting kiss on the cheek. Um, but from someone that you really, really want that kiss from. Uh, so very, very, very absolutely nice, uh, especially with in terms of communication. Uh, and communication, as I explained for uh, November where am I? December uh, is uh, going to be really key this month, uh, especially because the day after uh, we have that new moon in Sagittarius, we're still in Sagittarius season. And this is all in your third house. OK, so third house rules communication. All right. So this is a, a, a big thing for y'all. Uh, uh, researching, writing, those may be things on your mind. There's, you know, new moons bring new opportunities, new paths. It's a new cycle, all right? So it's a great time to plant seeds around this new moon, all right? It's a really good time, especially with Mars, like a rocket ship, okay? So whatever you're, you're manifesting and putting wheels in motion around this time, really great time. Okay, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Uh, you know, the third house also does rule short distance travel. You may be planning a trip, uh, taking a trip, trip. Um, and it could be with family, you know, because the third house also rules, um, like your siblings, your aunts, cousins, uncles, and you know, we are approaching holiday season. So it doesn't seem unlikely. The other thing is that what's really interesting looking at what's going on for y'all, uh, as we approach Capricorn season and, uh, the fact that we have Mercury and Capricorn already, uh, this is your fourth house here, your domestic sector. And the fact that we have this new moon in your third house, which also rules neighbors, it looks like a lot of y'all may be moving or thinking about moving or getting new neighbors or doing Doing something where there there is something some activity around that all right and it could be tied to a trip too for uh some uh libras as well uh it could be like you staying at an airbnb and you know you obviously have new like neighbors there but in any case uh this is a great new moon remember jupiter and saturn are you know doing the hokey pokey in the sky they're just you know really they're they're in a good place it's a really great alignment that i like uh and it is definitely leading up to uh you know it, it, it i love what's happening with them especially with a new moon in capricorn next month and that is in your fourth house so a lot of y'all when i say y'all may be moving yes a lot of y'all may be moving or thinking about moving uh or just something family related or or children related if not moving now um on the 13th we do have the Mercury retrograde. So Mercury will retrograde in Capricorn. And so this is why I think that a lot of y'all may be moving or thinking about moving or uh, uh, maybe getting a new roommate or just, again, something with home, something involved with home, with your domestic life, with your domestic sector, so family and children as well, um, because it is your fourth house. So Mercury is going retrograde in your fourth house. And so what this means, and it's going to be retrograde all month, 
okay? And so what this means for you particularly, Libra, is that you may be reassessing things regarding home. You may be reconsidering things regarding home uh, or, you know, reevaluating or even reimagining things. So if not moving, maybe even thinking about, you know, renovating, you know, it's all those rewords that come with the retrograde. Uh, so uh, again, I did a, a Mercury retrograde video. You, you can watch that. I'll leave it at the end of this video on things not to do during Mercury retrograde. Uh, but there are benefits to Mercury retrograde. And, you know, uh, one thing to know is like if you are traveling because it is holiday season and you looking at your what's going on for y'all there y'all could be traveling um just remember there may be some delays maybe some you know uh hiccups like uh just uh miscommunication as well um for y'all when i say communication is key especially for y'all okay especially for y'all because we're moving from sagittarius season into uh capricorn season but also Mercury going retrograde in Capricorn. So you see it's hitting your house of communication and then Mercury is a planet of communication and it's going retrograde. So all just, uh, you know, there could be some miscommunication, just mentally prepare for the fact that Mercury will be going retrograde. Every If something does go sideways, things, you know, are a lot smoother. And what's really interesting is that the moon actually will be moving into Capricorn too at the same time. So really just seriously, take like really thinking about things around you know home and your domestic life like you know a partner as well um so uh family and children as well but again home a big focus on home and just rethinking things um and that's it <laughs> Libra so let's get started let's see what's going on for you okay let's see what's going on for you for the week of oh look at that uh look who flipped over um, we'll see if uh, he shows up in your spread. Uh, it's kind of like a little wink from the universe. Uh, but let's see what's going on for you for the week of December 11th to the 17th. Again, this is for Libra and Libra rising. And if you want to read for your moon and your Venus, I would definitely recommend it. As you know, Venus is your ruling planet. Venus is in Scorpio and your second house of money, it's, uh, finances. OK, but also, you know, self-worth, self-value, comfort, what brings you comfort, the things that you value, a lot of that. Okay, a lot of that. Uh, and then also with the fact that the, the, we have a new moon this week, uh, if, you, if you know your birth chart, you know, you, you might want to read for your moon. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. See what's oh, my gosh. Look what flipped over again. Oh, my. Well, the first one was a night of um, uh, uh, the night of uh, cups that flipped over. Now you got the night of uh, pentacles that flipped over. Um, so, uh, again, it, 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 we'll see if they show up in your spread, but that is a big sign. Nights are all about action. So, uh, it is a big time to take action. Okay. Take some action toward, uh, you know, with the pentacles, you know, uh, money could really be a thing for you this week. And then with the cups, you know, just being emotionally fulfilled. Okay. And, um, some partnership energy there. Uh, as you know, the North node did move into your seventh house. Okay. Moved into, uh, uh Aries over the summer. So partnerships, relationships may be a big thing on your mind uh, uh, for for Eve, all the way through 2024, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's see what's going on for you for December uh, 11th to the 17th, <laughs> Libra. I There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That is true kismet right there. Oh, my gosh. And look at that. Another night. Oh, my. Look at you. Um, that's very uh, interesting. Even though it's in your challenge area, it's really more like the breakthrough area. But, you know, when I was talking about self-value, self-worth, that really is something that uh, even in a material sense, in your material world, okay, we're, we're, we are talking about the second house here. So, uh, and it looks like that is something that's happening here. It really, it, it does look like something that's happening here. Um, Libra, uh, Libra Nation, let's let's get to it. Let's see what's, let, this is, this is great, okay? I just want you to feel, uh, some of y'all may feel like uh, that you're not being supported first, uh, but I want you to know that uh, you're going to be fine. You're good, okay? Uh, you did get the seven of ones, all right? So came up in your past. Um, remember how I said that is a big thing for you, self-worth, self-value. Uh, this is, uh, you know, seven of wands. At the end of the day, it really is all about valor. It's standing your ground. It's drawing a line in the sand. It's saying, uh, you know, to an extent, like, 
like my way or the highway, but like diplomatically. Okay. Diplomatically. But it's also just saying like, you know, uh, no one's going to come after the things that I have built for myself, the dreams that I, you know, want. Uh, and it is a lot of, you know, like I said, this card is all about valor. It's, you know, the card of valor. And so if you trace the word back valor to its etymological root, you know, it really is it, it, it value, right? It comes from, I know that was a weird accent, comes from value, okay? Worth. So it is that self-value, self-worth. Know that you uh, are doing a great job of, uh, of, of feeling confident and moving forward and, and really standing up for yourself. I absolutely love this for you because it brings you to the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is a big sign. The fact that, you know, it flipped over while I was shuffling and then now it is in the heart of your spread this week. It's in the heart of your spread, which is absolutely amazing. Um, Knight of Pentacles really is, you know, they're like I said in your your December forecast, there is moving into Capricorn season. Actually, you know, let me take a step back. This month is really kind of like ramping up for what's going to happen for January. Okay. And even throughout next year, there's a lot that's happening this month. As you know, it is a loaded month. And so there is a sense of you, uh, with Capricorn energy. Um, Capricorn is just like long-term goals. Okay. Long-term goals, getting really serious about that, thinking about that too. Uh, and there you go. You have the Knight of Pentacles who is all about that commitment energy. And so what really amplifies that is if you remember, I said Venus and Scorpio, same thing. It wants that commitment. Okay. It wants that really strong commitment, uh, moving forward, whether in partnerships, whether it, you know, your passions and love and money, Venus represents money. Okay. Remember Venus, in Scorpio is in your second house. So there is something that it's like you want to build uh, this long lasting, enduring thing, right? That, and you're in it f to win it, in it for the long haul. I want you to plant some seeds. Remember, nights are all about action. Remember, this is a new moon. Uh, we're, 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 we're putting wheels in motion and, and, and it's all about new beginnings and new cycles biggest field in tarot here. So this is planting a lot of seeds and then reaping your rewards. It doesn't matter how long it takes because this is for the long haul. Remember it's long term, right? So it looks like you're setting yourself up or there's something that you're really wanting to commit to. It looks like for, um, you know, looking at your spread, a lot of Libras have actually already done that. Uh, and now you're you're in it for the ride and, and it's making sure that everything is stable. Everything does go steady. And and again, uh, it can be uh, salary. It could be money. It can be uh, 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 something with finances. It is a pentacles. But remember, pentacles are earthbound. So your physical reality, too. So just thinking about, like, what are you wanting to invest your energy in? Where do you want to take for the long haul. So it can be a relationship. It can be a new home. It can be, you know, all of that. Remember, uh, physical world, right? So you also have the Knight of Wands, all right? So, but the Knight of Wands came in your challenge area. It really is a breakthrough area. It really is saying, like, there, uh, you may feel this week that, uh, well, it's more like when you do take action, and it is all about taking action for you this week, um, really, 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 uh, it's almost like don't fumble is the message. Like, don't fumble the ball. Like, don't, don't, it's, uh, you're the sign of balance, right? So it's like, don't be a little, like, too much. Don't do a little, like, too little. Um, just really, really, like, be in the zone. Like, that perfect balance in terms of going after your passions. Um, communication is going to be a really big part of that, too. Just remember that, okay? Remember that communication is going to be key for you. So uh, communicating with others. Be willing to communicate with others. Don't be, if, if I remember correctly, in your December forecast, you did get the Queen of Swords in, in the heart of your spread. So uh, just really being headstrong, but not like too forceful. And it, it's all about like seeking the truth uh, and being honest with yourself. But with the Knight of Wands, which is double fire, by the way, and he is Sagittarius and we are in Sagittarius season in your third house of communication. <laughs> so uh, really just have that right balance because I normally go in order here. I'm just going to show you right now you're going to be fine as long as you have that balance because you did get temperance in your future who is Sagittarius. So, uh, but this is, this is really great. So, um, the other thing is there's, it's almost like some of y'all may, uh, still there may be like a little bit of confusion, especially when Mercury goes retrograde. So 
just remember when Mercury goes retrograde, there is miscommunication. So if someone is, uh, if something's miscommunicated to you, or if you don't get something right away, or if you think that you get it right away, but it's actually not just spend time like really digesting things uh because there it could be a thing because the peak ends like the day that mercury goes retrograde the day that mercury goes direct are those days at its strongest okay now you did get the five of pentacles in your crown and so uh this is very interesting uh coming up in your crown it's saying that there is a sense that uh you may be feeling a little like you're not being supported some of y'all uh may be really putting a lot of emphasis on on this commitment energy and investing in something because you may be thinking that uh, or some of y'all could have been going through some sort of loss, financial loss. Maybe uh, you uh, uh, spent a lot of money over like Thanksgiving or something and now you're going into your savings or there could be something there where you're feeling it. But remember, communication is key. Bring people and you need people to communicate with. So Bring those people into your life. You see the two people are uh, in this card. These people are actually focused on their plight. They're 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 focused on all the bad things that have happening to them. They, they're out in the cold, in the snow, and they're so focused on their plight that they can't see. They're literally outside a church, okay? So there's a lot of hope all around them. There's a lot of support all around them. All they have to do is look up, okay? And so don't refuse to look up. All right. If you, you know, if people are, are lending out a helping hand, but it's really more about you and the way that you may think and the way that you may feel uh, uh, that you're not being supported or there could be something where uh, something in, 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 in the past was uh, really had an impact on not only. Yeah, sure. Money, finances, comfort, stability, but also like your self-worth. Remember, you have that seven of ones here. So remember that you, you, you just keep. Keep, keep going, keep going. Slow and steady wins a race. Having that balance is is really good too. Uh, but definitely plant some seeds. But I I would get out of the headspace if you feel that you're in the headspace where things are really hard for you. Uh, communicate, communicate to those around you, and 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 uh, re, you know like what comes after the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles, it, like blessings and gratitude and generosity. So uh, just remember definitely uh, 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 reach out if, if you feel that you need to, okay? You did get the justice card. So when I talk about that balance energy, it is so key here. It's so key, okay? Uh, you know that you did get, well, I don't want to, I don't, I know that some have, haven't uh, 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 seen their December forecast yet, so I don't want to ruin the surprise for you, but the justice card is a big player. Um, and also, um you are the justice is uh attributed to libra so this is your card okay and so a lot of wisdom in this card a lot of remember we were talking about truth and being honest with yourself but also seeking that fairness that it's almost seems like you know with the five of pentacles in your crown and now the justice card and the root of your spread there could be something that did happen where you're just like okay i need to make things right but then there could be also a little bit of confusion Am I doing the right thing? Okay, so there are two different camps here, but with a just card in the in the reader spread, as long as you have that balance and as long as you let go, it also feels like something's holding you back, uh, or even someone. Okay, someone. Remember, with everything that's happening for you astrologically, with everything in these houses, there's people involved. Okay, remember. Uh, Capricorn, your fourth house, that's your domestic sector. So family, children, your significant other. Okay. And then, you know, with uh, being Sagittarius season, new moon in Sagittarius, it's your third house communication, but also siblings, aunts, uncles, neighbors, like the, so other people involved. So there is an opportunity for you to, uh, really foster that energy. And, 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 and it's, it's definitely going to help bring that balance. Justice is all about, you even see the card is so symmetrical, right? So symmetrical. Uh, and then you do see the the scale and the judge's hand so you know that balance energy is really important but again it's almost like that's what you're seeking and there is like a lot of wisdom that comes with this uh so it's not like um it's not like uh, you're doing the wrong thing. It's just like just having a balance in terms of what you're seeking. Um, again, not being too forceful, but also not being uh, unmotivated as well. Now, 
temperance. And so this is why I think that you're going to be fine because you've got temperance in your future, which is, again, like I said, Sagittarius, which is, you know, very important because we have a new moon in Sagittarius this week. All right. So this is really saying that, you know, it, it's showing me that you're going to be fine. OK, uh, I mean, having an archangel in your future is really great as it is. But the temperance card is a card of self-restraint. I literally mean self-restraint, right? Temperance. And so there is that sense of like not being, um, you know, not worrying about your future, but getting to a place where, again, things are building for you slow and steady. That's what you want. Uh, whatever you're investing, all your, you know, heart and soul into time and energy and even money too sure yeah and money and uh, uh, uh thinking about money that could be uh something on your mind but uh with temperance in your future it's like um it's that slow and steadiness it's that you know uh uh you see her foot in the water or his foot in the water uh it's almost like testing the waters, right? And so not not doing like a cannonball, not jumping in, not diving into things. So unsteady, okay? Really, and also just knowing the facts too with, with Mercury retrograde, um, that is going to be a big thing. And then also with this, uh, in all this Sagittarius energy in your third house of communication. But um, again, there it, it's really just saying you're... Uh, as long as you have that balance and continue to uh, move forward with the Knight of Pentacles and the Heart of Your Spread in terms of like building this thing, planting seeds and seeing it for the long haul, right? This commitment energy, you're going to be absolutely fine uh, as long as you don't worry or stress or, you know, have that uh, 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 energy, like low energy frequencies, okay? You're going to be absolutely fine. A lot of it could also be... Um, you know, you see the sword. I think I pointed this out last time. Use that sword to cut anything that you don't need in your life at this point. Use that sword. It seems like you want to. Um, again, there is a, a feeling of something or someone holding you back that that could be something. And I'm not saying to like, uh, like completely cut it, but cut what you need to cut so it doesn't feel like it's like, you know, uh, an anchor attached to your foot. Okay. Uh, but again, temperance in the future, that's really great. Now let's get to your stuff. Libra, Libra nation. Let's what, uh, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like subscribe, leave comments, let me know what's, let me know what's, what's going on for y'all this week. What seeds are you planting? Tell me what seeds you're planting. You're, you're planting. This is a very transformative time for, for Libras. And, and I say it, it really is. Um, it, uh, and if you're a subscriber, by the way, thank you so much for being here. Y'all are amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, Hey, you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. It does look like there is. Um, so really interesting now um, because with the five of pentacles in your crown and the just card, it just card in the root of your spread. Now I like definitely see that there is some weight. Okay. There's some weight that you just need to shake off. Okay. Uh, but again, it's going to help just bring that balance. Okay. Uh, you did get the eight of wands. Uh, amazing. This is really great. Uh, and that could be part of this, uh, especially with the Knight of Wands in your challenge area, uh, is that there, it's like there, there could be a sense of there are some things that you want to happen faster. Uh, but it just, you know, um, it really just seems like it has to be thought out. It has to be like, really like you have to really also put everything into it if you really, really want it. Right. Uh, the Eight of Wands is great. Another Sagittarius card. In fact, this is Mercury and Sagittarius. So uh, communication is key. Uh, communication is really key um, uh, this week. So keep that in mind as, as you move forward with this week, especially around that new moon in Sagittarius. All right. And so really be vocal about the things that uh, you want. You know, I, I always say it like put it out there in the universe. Put it out there in the universe, especially around the new moon. Now, you got the Ten of Swords in your external factors area. So this is now like really showing me, yeah, yeah, there is still like some uh, of y'all that may be in your head, especially with the Five of Pentacles in your crown, okay? And now you have the Ten of Swords in your external factors area. So there could be a little bit of just like, uh, again, there's just uh, something dragging you. There's could be this week. Just, so be very aware of that. 
and what you have to do so it doesn't feel that way and you can bring that balance in your life. But um, the great thing about the Ten of Swords is that this is a card of new dawn, okay? Uh, so all those dark clouds are actually clearing. It's dawn. The sun is coming through. And so you see it's also 10. 10 is the end of the suit. One zero equals one, new beginning. So it's, it's like, yes, there is a sense of, uh, it's more like what's fueling you is you want to get out of this one. There's like something that just needs to end for this new beginning uh, that's going to come with a new uh, moon. Uh, and it could be a lot of like mental conflict as well, uh, especially because it is a sword suit. It is the mental suit. Um, so and, and communication, of course. And so uh, a lot of it is a lot of what happens this week is just just it really is going to hinge on like that balance that you bring into your life. Um, and when I say balance, you can think that balance of mind, body, spirit, you can think of, 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 you know, conscious, subconscious, super conscious, what resonates with you. Okay. Even in your external world, or is there something that's a little bit more like, uh, you're spending way too much time at work, not enough time with, you know, uh, family. Do you know what I mean? Like find that balance. Okay. And once you start, you know, having that balance, you start seeing more like, okay, this makes sense for me. Um, there's also a sense of like, uh, what's coming through is like a lot of like learning. Okay. And that's something that I actually want you to do. Um, especially with with all this activity in in your communication sector but you can even see the swords impaling this young man but uh you see his hand gesture though it's the same hand gesture as the hierophant and remember i reference what comes after the five of pentacles the six of pentacles so the same hand gesture as the very philanthropic man in the six of pentacles so blessings right so it's almost like uh uh once you learn from all those things that may be taking up a lot of headspace, uh, it's you become a better version of yourself. It is almost like, you know, it is a blessing. Uh, it can be like a blessing in disguise, but it's like, okay, now I know. Now I've learned this. Now I'm moving forward. Um, and you got judgment too. And so uh, there is definitely a sense of you wanting this, almost like, rebirth resurrection energy is coming through but it's also and you even see actually with the card there's it's a lot of healing in this card and that's what you're seeking but healing as in like this new thing in your life brewing this new thing that you want um you can see archangel gabriel so you see you have two archangels here you see archangel gabriel blowing the trumpet and so the dead are arising and remember what i said and did i say it earlier you see a lot of wisdom here with the two gray columns, gray and tarot's wisdom, and then you see the dead, they're gray. And so it's when you hear that blow the trumpet, you have this like wake up call and it's almost like it brings you all this wisdom. And now you're seeking, it's almost like seeking this new uh, life experience that's really meaningful to you. Um, so it seems like that is the direction that you're moving just remember with that blow of the trumpet it is sound and what is sound sound is healing so use that to uh, 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 for this week okay um as you move forward as you build some stability around something that you really want uh again it can be in your external world your physical world it can be money related or it could just be something that you really want to invest in like heart and soul and money wise too but you're gonna be good <laughs> you got the three of cups in your final outcome and so this is a card of celebration this is a card of joy okay this is a card of enjoyment this is uh three sisters toasting each other so that can be quite literal for a lot of people it's or for a lot of libras with the fact that again you have the the new moon in sagittarius but even if you take that new moon in sagittarius away we're still in sagittarius season which rules you're, you're in a third house of what I said earlier, siblings, okay? But also aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors, and whatnot. But you're fine. There, It looks like there is something that is going to... I'm getting a... It's like a relief, like really like great relief. Uh, but there is a sense of uh, you celebrating a lot of ideas too. There's almost like the birth of new ideas. Um, but it is new beginnings and, you know, it's very fitting with the fact that there is a new moon and then the three of cups is three and three is all about you know the birth of new things and in creation so 
it looks like you're moving into something new but it's also but remember the key is just like that balance of uh and in, in communication is going to be key this week um but it's really like not trying to force anything um and also just getting out of that headspace where you may feel like uh you know if you keep if you are in a headspace where it's like low energy frequencies, it's harder to get the things that you want. So you want to like raise your energy levels. And it, if it looks like that's what you want anyway. So it's not like I have to tell you that it's just more a matter of you doing that to, you know, uh, raise your energy levels. Right. And it, it, I always talk about that. Every, everything is made of energy and you're made of energy and I'm made of energy. We all vibrate at a certain frequency. Okay. And that is, uh, really, uh, there is like this emotional quality to, uh, as well. Um, especially with the cups, you know, um, uh, and your final outcome cups are emotions and uh, even intuition as well and and love and whatnot and it is you know uh you want to feel that uh and it is all about taking action too uh even with your emotions because you know and i'm just gonna i know what time, what time is it okay i'll just tell you this what the last thing is that um you know how i say that uh we're all made of energy. Well, you have to think about emotions. Emotions are neutral, right? It's the energy that you put toward your emotions that put them in motion, okay? Emotions, uh, the um, etymological root of emotions, emotere, energy in motion, okay? So really putting your energy toward more like a higher frequency that will elevate your energy and even physically you'll feel better too. But, um, okay. So, uh, I love that. I love that. So, uh, thanks so much, Libra. Uh, happy new moon. If you like this reading, would be great. If you like subscribe, leave comments, let me know what's happening. Um, and if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for being here. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.